Hi, Facebook fans. I am Lieutenant Amberlynn Daniel, and I'm once again reporting live from the Sea Air Space Expo. And joining me now, I'm very privileged to have a very special guest with me this afternoon. I have Vice Admiral Jan Tai. She is the commander of Fleet Cyber Command and 10th Fleet. How are you doing today, ma'am? Good, Amberlynn. How about yourself? I'm fantastic. And I know you've been very busy, so we've got time for just a couple quick questions. Okay. The first question that I want to ask you is, we have moved away from the term information dominance, and now we're embracing information warfare. Is this more than just a name change? Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's more than a name change. I think that um, you know the notion of dominance and dominating in this space, particularly in the information space, is a bit outdated and outmoded. It assumes a bit of an arrogance that um, we recognize is not appropriate to the uh, to the problem. And so, you know, we've moved from dominate and overwhelm to a conversation that's more about speed and agility and precision um, in the information space. And uh, so we liken ourselves, you know, less from professional wrestling and more towards American Ninja Warrior. And uh, so that's what we're looking for. Cyber information warriors that uh, are American Ninja Warriors. I love it. All right, now getting back to the mission of what you do, how does the mission of Fleet Cyber Command 10th Fleet fit into the design for maritime superiority? Well, clearly um, the design, the CNO's design, has everything to do with building capacity and capability to deliver on the Navy mission. And so strength, you know, strengthening power from and at and from the sea um, clearly, Fleet Cyber Command is an operational command, and so um, our forces, albeit in a lot of cases ashore, sometimes integrated in with in, in with the uh, um, at sea forces, um, are are delivering operational capabilities in that domain. All of the other lines of effort are about high velocity learning, about strengthening Navy partnerships. We are um, very central in taking advantage of that and making sure that the workforce and, and the, that the high velocity learning that we're doing both operationally and, um, and in execution are able to you know, allow us to, to succeed in our mission. Wonderful. And now my last question for you is, as we all know, technology is always evolving. So how do you stay ahead of potential adversaries? Well, I think, you know, uh, you've heard CNO say that our people are our asymmetric advantage. I often talk about the fact that our people are our capabilities as opposed to the technology being our capability. So leveraging our, you know, the, the, the talent that we have to... Um, to stay ahead of the adversary, to be able to innovate, and innovation is our, our way of maneuvering, um, and just, you know, continue to execute the mission and never resting. Uh, that's pretty much it. Trust in our people and uh, prepare them for the fight we're having every day. Well, I think you nailed it, ma'am. Thank you so much for your time today. And for our Facebook fans, be sure to come back tomorrow. Where we, we will be reporting once again live from the Sea Air Space Expo. Thanks so much. We'll see you then.